The Kleist organ in Germany's Cologne Cathedral is famous the world over. For me, it's important to create a sound that really reaches out to people, that moves them. And when they're in a church and the congregation is singing along with the organ, it creates a kind of warm and soothing sound that bathes the entire church in sound. The Kleist Organ Building Workshop in Bonn still follows century-old traditions. The sheets for the organ pipes are hand cast from a liquid tin alloy, which is later formed into pipes. Each organ has at least 150 pipes. Some organs have thousands, and each additional pipe enhances the instrument's tonal range. But the organ is only tuned when it has reached its final destination. I have a clear idea of how I want it to sound. That's what you have in mind when you enter a church and get the chance to set up the organ. First, you have an idea of what you want the organ to sound like. You have a clear idea of how you want it to be, and then you do everything you can to make that happen. Philip's great-grandfather Johannes Kleist founded the company in 1882. Today, it's one of the leading organ makers worldwide. Half of the company's orders are for new instruments, the rest is restoration work. Each organ has a unique sound. As an organ builder, I think it's really important that there is no typical Kleist sound that we export worldwide. Instead, we're trying to build instruments that suit each room, but also that are in tune with the language and environment in question. Twelve years ago, Philip Kleist built a new organ for Cologne Cathedral. Considering the proximity to his hometown, it was his favorite project. But he leaves the playing to a professional, music professor and cathedral organist, Winfried Bernig. Das ist ein sehr it's a very symphonic sound. It's quite full, but it's also quite versatile. That's important because an organist wants to give the listeners lots of variation, just like an orchestra does with different instruments. What I really like about this organ is that Kleiss offers a very rich range of different sounds. The largest organ ever built by Kleiss is in the National Grand Theatre in Beijing. It was first heard during the 2008 Olympic Games. With 6,600 pipes, one of them 12 meters tall and weighing 750 kilos, the organ cost 3 million euros. Kleiss also has private customers. Here in the Scottish Highlands, where roads can't support heavy loads, that meant flying in parts of the organ via helicopter. The Bonn workshop completes around three organs a year. The newest project is the organ for the Elbe Philharmonic Hall in Hamburg Harbor, set for completion in late 2011. When the organ's just been installed, you listen to every detail and you're constantly expecting to hear a wrong note. A Kleiss organ is harmonious to its surroundings, yet remains unique. It's the company's secret to success.